proofs of loss of set operations. So, here in this topic we are going to discuss about the proofs of loss of set operations of the third case that is about the associative loss. So, under associative loss we are going to prove the two conditions whereas, the first one is of A union B of union C is equals to A union of B union C. Then now, the second case as A intersection B intersection C is equals to A intersection of B intersection C. These two conditions we are going to prove under the advanced level. Then now, here we are going to prove the two conditions that are nothing but the associative loss whereas, in that the associative loss are of So, we are going to prove these associative loss by means of the element wise proof. Here these are the element wise proofs of the associative loss which are nothing but the first one as A union B union C is equals to A union of B union C. So, we have to prove the first condition as A union B union C equals to A union of B union C. Then now the second case as A intersection B intersection C is equals to A intersection B intersection C A intersection of B intersection C. Then now here we are going to prove the first case that is about the A union B union C is equals to A union of B union C, but here in order to prove A union B of union C equals to A union of B union C. So, first of all we have to prove the two conditions that is the LHS must be the subset of the RHS and RHS must be the subset of LHS that is A union B of union C must be the subset of A union of B union C as in the first case then now right hand side that is A union of B union C must be the subset of the LHS that is A union B of union C. Then now here in order to prove A union B union C is equals to A union of B union C. So, we have to prove first of all as the case number 1 we have to prove two conditions. So, those were one as the first one as A union B union C must be the subset of A union of B union C. Then as the second case we have to prove as the right hand side as the subset of the left hand side that is A union of B union C must be the subset to A union B union C. Then now here I want to deal the first case that is A union B union C the subset to A union of B union C. But here since we are going to prove this condition by element wise proof. So, I have to consider one element x belongs to the left hand side. So, here let x be is an element which belongs to the left hand side that is A union B of union C. Then now, so that implies. So, here x belongs to the first set that is first bracket A union B and as well as. So, here union indicates R and x also belongs to the sets that is C. So, here we can write the step as x belongs to the first bracket that is A union B union indicates R then x also belongs to this second set that is C. Then now the next logical step. So, here that implies. So, here I want to elaborate this condition. So, in the floor brackets x belongs to A union B that it can be written as x belongs to A union indicates R x belongs to B bracket close then now here R x belongs to C. In the next logical step. So, that implies so, here I want to remove the brackets then now here x belongs to A or can also be written as the in V because here V indicates or that is union then now here x belongs to B or x belongs to C, but here whereas in the next step I want to group. So, B and C together. So, that implies x belongs to A or so within brackets. So, x belongs to B or x belongs to C. 
then whereas in the next logical step that implies x belongs to a or say here this can be written as x belongs to as per the definition of the union of two sets we can write it as b or c can be written as b union c bracket close then now so here we got this step by the definition of union of two sets then now the next logical step so here that implies so x belongs to a or x belongs to the second set we can write it as x belongs to a so here a so here or indicates union then the second set is of b union c so here also we have utilized the definition by the definition of the union of two sets i wrote instead of or as union so x belongs to a union b union c then now here the next logical step then we have so left hand side implies the right hand side so here left hand side is of so here then we have x belongs to a union b union c so implies so x belongs to a union of b union c so here from this it is clear that element x is belonging to the a union b of union c and the same element x is also present in a union of b union c that mean so here the elements of the lhs the elements present in the lhs set are also the elements present in the rhs set so we can write it as the lhs that is a union b of union c will be the subset of a union of b union c so from this it is clear that so therefore say so a union b union c will be the subset to a union of b union c so in this manner we have proved the first condition so let us write this as the equation number 1 or the condition number 1 so here which we got from the case number 1 then now here in the second case we have to prove rhs the subset to lhs that means say a union of b union c must be the subset to say here a union b of union c so in order to prove this condition by element wise proof i have to consider one element i have to assume one element which belongs to the lhs so here let x be an element which belongs to a union of b union c but by its elaboration we can write it as x is present in the first set that is a or and x is also present in the second set that is bracket b union c so here x belongs to a union can be written as or then now x belongs to the bracket that is b union c whereas in the next logical step so that implies x belongs to a is written as it is say so or then now here i want to elaborate within this floor brackets so x belongs to b union c can be written as x belongs to this b so here union indicates or then now x belongs to even c also then by removing the brackets so the next logical step will be of x belongs to a or x belongs to b or x belongs to c then whereas in the next logical step we can write it as x belongs to a or can be written as the symbolic notation as v then x belongs to b or as symbolic notation v then x belongs to c then now here i want to group the first two within the brackets then now here the next logical step will be that implies so here x belongs to a or x belongs to b as per the definition of the union of two sets it can be written as x belongs to so a or b it can be written as a union b then now here or x belongs to c is written as it is then whereas in the next logical step we can write it as so here i got this logical step so by the definition of the union of two sets so here by the definition of the union of two sets say i have written this logical step then the next logical step will be of so that implies x belongs to a union b or x belongs to c can be written as x belongs to so a union b instead of the or i can write it as union then now here c then now then we have the lhs that is x belongs to a union of b union c so here implies x belongs to a union b union c then the next logical step will be of then we have lhs is of x belongs to a union of b union c implies x belongs to a union b union c so here from this it is clear that x is an element which which is present in a union of b union c set and the same element is also present in the right hand side set that is a union b of union c therefore the elements which are present in the lhs set are also the elements of this rhs set therefore the lhs will be the subset of the rhs or in other words we can write it as therefore a union that is the lhs of b union c is the subset to the rhs which is nothing but a union b of union c so in this manner we have proved the second case then let us write it as the equation number 2 so here 
So in this manner, so we have put the two conditions. So from the conditions, from the two conditions, from the equations one and as well as two, the first equation is of A union B union C is the subset to A union of B union C. So here this is our condition number one or the equation number one and the condition number two is of. So here A union of B union C is a subset to A union B of union C. So here let us write this as the equation number two. So here from these two equations or two conditions it is clear that when LHS is the subset to RHS and RHS is the subset of LHS then automatically the LHS will be equal to the RHS. So here therefore A union B union C will be equals to A union of B union C. So in this manner we have proved the first condition. So or the first associative property. So here hence it is proved. Then now let us go for the second one. The second associative property, the second associative property is of.